Hi everybody, Carol here. Um, I'm going to try to do a little short <clears throat> update on uh, what I've had going on and a couple of things I got to use for journals. I'm not not nowhere near 100%. <clears throat> um, did make it to the doctor for those that were wondering or, and, or knew. Um, they gave me some meds to start and they are really not agreeing with me right now. So, um, grab my drink, have a sip. Not like that's helping. Anyway, okay. Um, I wanted to give a quick update. I um, have only done, since the last time, three pages in this um, altered book journal. Oops, sorry. And I just hit that. Sorry about that. Um, but I wanted to show you the ones that I've done in that and um, show you the few little things that I've gotten, um, that I got over the weekend when we went thrifting. So, um, right quick, I'll show you the three pages that I did get done. And I really hope that this video turns out the right way because this is the third time I've tried it. And for some reason, my camera, oh, my phone, which I use, um, is not wanting to, to do right. I don't know. The, the thing ends up twisted and flipped around, and I don't know why. Um, I'm using the same thing I've always used. So, anyways, real quick. Um... This is just some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. It's either linen or old paper. I can't remember. Um, Tim Holtz tissue paper that I, excuse me, that I cut. Um, these were some old K and Company embellishments I got out of a, I've got a pack I got, I think, from Mighty Dollar. I'm not sure. An old uh, Dear Lizzie date stamp, which is... Uh, I think I've got another year or two on that, and that runs out. You can barely see this little stamp I did down here with the same ink. That's a stamp. I think I paid $2 for it at AC Moore a year or so ago. Um, this little tag is, I think, it's like mulberry paper. It's just real thick. So I decided to throw that on there. I wasn't really 100%, you know, happy with either one of these. So I took the same Tim Holtz tissue paper back here and put it there. Just cut it out, put the rest of it there. This is a metal clock face from Recollections. Whole pack of them. I had their black and white. I think maybe gray. I'm not sure. Um, I took, I have a lot of leftover copy dyed paper that I used for my plain junk journals. The um, envelope one and the one made out of just junk. So um, I didn't want to throw them away. So I just took and folded them together, stapled them together, and made just a little, you know, little booklet there one of my uh, I'll think of it in a second paper clips that I've had forever and the front I just took some uh, archival gray ink that I had and stamped that and I'll put that on there and uh, I don't remember if this is Tim Holtz washi or not but it's oh uh, everything's to find me today bear with me because I'm, I'm struggling um, so anyway I used the washi tape to kind of hold that down to fix it so I could flip it over like that because it was hanging so anyway um, those two and one more back here that I did this one which is nothing but um, these came out of a card making kit just some old scrap paper an old making memories leather flower with a little gemstone from Michaels this is, um, some of you may have seen the little packets of, um, the little washi sheets that were circles and little strips. That's what this came off of. Uh, dollar store, paper clip there. This was sent to me in Happy Mail a long time ago, and I don't remember, whoops, I don't remember who sent it to me. These are, are pretty neat. I like these. I got these at the thrift store for, I don't know, I think 60 cent. There's a couple other, I think... Uh, yellow and pink maybe they are called bookmark index cards and I, they were originally from Walmart I had never seen them but you do like that with them which is they're pretty cool so I thought they would be neat for little journaling cards um, that's the only three pages I've done in this recently so I don't know when this week and maybe I may or may not get back to that and actually oops we'll get that later um, actually get some more done on that. So, um, I got, um, also, where is it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. 
maybe in here. Okay, on to some thrift store finds. Let's do that. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go. Um, the little booklet I made in there, I had a bunch of leftover paper still left after that, so I took it and stapled it together, and it's not even. I trimmed some of it off, but it's still not even. It's kind of, you know, whacked out, crooked. But I took a piece of scrapbook paper and just made a little cover for it and washi taped it to cover the staples up and made just a little book like to throw in my pocketbook or you know just to lay around here or whatever and I thought well that's a cool idea for using you know your leftover scraps if they're all you know from trimming out this they were all strange size like this so just an idea you know can you use scraps up that way okay um I found the first place I went was to restore some of you may or may not know what Restore is. It's a like a furniture thrift shop. They have a lot of furniture and appliances, um, some household goods, and they have books, or at least ours does anyway. Um, and they have good prices on paperbacks. Ma uh, magazines are like 15 cent and paperbacks are uh, 75. So I bought this Cook's American Classics magazine for 15 cent. I'm going to... Uh, copy some of the recipes out of here that I actually would like to keep, but then I'm going to cut the rest of it up to use in a, a food-based, you know, cooking-based journal I want to make one of these days. So I've got that, but that's the kind of, you know, things that, you know, like I say, 15-cent magazines, you can't beat it. This, however, I will take and, um, I will copy recipes out of this to use in the journal because I just can't bring myself to cut this up. This is like from 1959. Good Housekeeping's Cake Book. I love anything like this. I collect old vintage cookbooks like this, these paper ones especially. Um, I just love them. And I thought this would be great to put in that journal. I mean, I love the pictures. Look at that. Who knew Stick Family stickers would become so popular, like, you know, 50 years later? Because, like I say, this is from 1959, so this is old, really old. So, um, anyway, I'm going to use this for copying to put in a journal and then I'm going to save the book because I can't bring myself to cut it up. Um, I'm running out of room over here. Let me lay those there. Okay, the next store I went to, a little thrift store, well, big thrift store around our area. I paid 40 cents for these and this is Heidi Swap Banners. This is Banners. Well, trust me, that's what it says. <laughs> It's like thick ass tape banners. There originally were eight in a pack. There are seven in a pack. But for 40 cent for something that I know probably was six or seven dollars to begin with, I'm happy with that. But uh, 40, yeah, 40 cent. You can see right there. And I thought they were cute. There's, you know, a couple different colors. And that one's kind of, yeah, there you go. On the back. But I thought they were cute and I could cut them to size, use a piece or one piece or however much I wanted. But I thought those were pretty cool for 40 cent. My favorite thing that I found there was, for 40 cent, the library cards. I've been looking for some of these things everywhere, couldn't find any. Um, you see some, like, you know, replica library cards in some of the ephemera kits and things like that. But these are real library cards. And... They were 40 cent. So I was super excited to find those. And I'm going to try copy dyeing some of them. I haven't done that yet. So we're going to try that out. Um, I went to Walmart as well. And um, I found some cool things at Walmart. The first thing, let me get this out of my way, which would be kind of helpful. First thing I found, and your, these were all on clearance. Now your Walmart may or may not have this stuff on clearance. I don't know. But I found this little notebook. The tag's actually on the back. It says, you know, Polly Composition Book. And it was on clearance. It said for 64 cent when I scanned it. Now, I don't know what the original price was. This is what it looks like on the inside. Just plain. I don't know why that's changing. Anyway, just plain lined paper. But, and it's got the, you know, the Polly cover like that. So, I got that. These, uh, when I scanned them, they were on sale for, clear sale for 10 cents a piece. I bought all seven that I saw, and they were paper, they're paperbacks, and I thought these are really cute. What I thought I could do was use these, and this is the same size, 
get me a cover of some sort, make me a cover of some sort, and do a traveler's notebook with these and that. And these are all just plain paperback, plain lined on the inside. They all look identical on the inside. They're all paper. They're by Casemate. I don't know what the original price was, but they were on sale at our store for a dime. So I bought the only seven that I could find. And each of them has something different on the front. This is travel notes. Genius notes, love notes, secret notes, and oops, this one, garden notes. And then I have an extra genius and an extra love. But I thought that these were really, really cute. And I liked that they're paper, um, they're sewn together. See that? Sewn. And like I said, they're nice lined. The paper quality is not bad it's not real thin it's not a real heavyweight paper but it seems fairly sturdy but i thought they were really cute um you know if you didn't want to use it for whatever it says on the front like travel or gardening you could use it for something different but i thought for 10 cents that those were pretty dad neat um like i said i don't know if they're that way in all walmart's stick this back so i can have some room they may not be that way in all walmart's walmart's excuse me i don't know um the last thing is someone had asked about using the junk journals that you make. And I finally did start using a couple of mine. Um, I haven't used them a lot, but I have used them. I, mean, I don't know if this is going to help with the light. It might. Oh, it's just so bright and it lets the heat in, so I haven't opened it up. Um, this, there's a video on this, I think I have a video on both of these, this is a video on the, there's a video on this one, which is the All Junk Junk Journal. I just, last year finally said, Book of Random Thoughts, and that's what went on the front. And May 1st, 2016, so it's over a year ago when I first started this. Um, I have used it some, here and there. I haven't used it a lot, but I have finally, um, started working back in it. It went from June 2016 to February 2017 in between writing anything in here, which is kind of ridiculous. But, uh, so I have started writing in it again and I have been using it every month. Not every week, but every month. So, like I say, I have been writing in it and I'm going to keep trying to write in it until I fill the whole thing up. If I don't forget, but, uh, I have actually used this one finally. And I used this one some. Now I need to get back writing in this one again because I really haven't used it much at all. Um, I started using this one in February when I joined the gym and I haven't, haven't done a whole lot in it. I've just written a few times, you know, four or five times, that's it. But you know, I need to get started back on this one because I really like this journal. I like, you know, all the, the stuff that I put in the journal. So I really want to use it. Um, I would love to see if any of you guys, um, actually, I've heard people say they never use their journals. So, you know, any of you guys actually use your journals, I would love for you to share what you've done with them. Um, leave a link down below for me, and I would love to check it out and see what you guys have done. I love seeing everybody else's stuff. Um, I'm just rearranging while I'm gabbing, sorry. Um. But yeah, leave me a link down below and, and share with me what you've done in your journals. I would love to see how you've used them and all. Um, I'm going to cut it short today. Um, thank you guys for sticking with me. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, I would love it if you would click that button down below and subscribe. I always subscribe back. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers, and if and when I do... I want to do some sort of a giveaway. I don't know exactly how big of a giveaway yet. Some of it's going to depend on postage because postage has gotten ridiculous for things like that. The last time I sent a box of stuff out, it was <laughs> more to ship it almost than it was worth. So, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll do something definitely, and I'll make it worth a while. Um, I won't have like you know send me things make things or whatever and send to me and then we'll pick a winner we're just gonna we'll just do something like um you know everybody that comments will be entered automatically or something like that we'll do something along those lines and make it easy as we can um i may do multiples i don't know yet we're gonna see how it works out 
anyway, thanks for watching. Leave me a link down below to your channel. If I'm not already subscribed, I will be happy to do so. And just wait, and we'll just see what comes next. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Until next time, bye.